Grade 8 Math number 5.2a, Graph from a Table to Write an Equation. We can use the information from a table to draw a graph of a linear relationship and to write an equation for that graph line. We can use pairs of input and output values to find the slope m and the y-intercept b in the equation y equals mx plus b. We can also write an equation without drawing the graph. We just choose two points from the table to find the slope, then choose one of the ordered pairs to find the y-intercept b. In this video, we're going to use a table and a graph. So this table shows the amount of gallons of gasoline in Tala's car as she drives to visit her grandparents. They live 160 miles away, and Tala wants to make sure she has enough gasoline for the trip. So as you can see from this table, once she's got 10 gallons of gas in her tank, once she drives 25 miles, she's only going to have 9 gallons left, see? And her trip is 160 miles. So we're going to graph the data from this table and find the slope and y-intercept from the graph. Then we're going to write an equation for the graph in slope-intercept form. So the first thing we're going to do is graph the ordered pairs from the table. 0, 10, 25, 9, 50, 8, 75, 7, and we graph them. We draw a line through the points. These are the gallons of gas remaining in the tank of her car, and here's the miles driven. We choose two points on the graph, so I chose the first two, to find the slope. And remember, we choose left to right, so that's the first one, x1 and y1, and that's x2 and y2. We always go left to right, okay? So, our first pairs are 0, 10, and 25, 9. That's x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. Now we're going to use the slope formula to find the slope. We have to subtract and do x2 take away x1, ugh, y2 take away y1 and x2 take away x1. Sorry about that. And we do our slope formula and here's y2, 9. We need to take away y1, 10. 9 take away 10 is a negative 1. Then we have x2, 25. And we take away x1, 0. That gives us 25. So we have negative 1 over 25. And look, we have a negative value for our slope. And as I always say, when it falls to the right, we know it's going to be a negative slope. And look at that, it is. So here's our slope, negative 1 25th. Now we find the y-intercept on the graph by just looking at it. Where does the line cut through the y-axis? Here's the y-axis. Remember, y to the sky. Y is the one that goes up to the sky, so the line is hitting the y-axis at the 10. That's going to be our y-intercept. So now we know in our slope-intercept form of an equation, the b is going to be a 10. We use this slope, negative 1 25th that we found, and the y-intercept 10 to write our equation. So we've got y equals negative 1 25th x plus 10. Well, will Tala have enough gasoline in her car to drive 160 miles to see her grandparents? Yes, she'll still have about three and a third gallons left. Watch. X is the amount of miles that she's driven. So we need to multiply the 160 miles to her grandparents' house by the negative 1 25th. 1 times 160 is 160, and 25 times 1 is 25 and it's negative, so we have negative 6 and 2 thirds when we simplify it. See? Now we have negative 6 and 2 thirds, and we add 10. Now remember, this is a negative, so when we add the 10, we're going to have a positive 3 and a third. That's how much gas she's going to have left after she gets to her grandparents' house. She's got plenty of gasoline to make it there, doesn't she? She doesn't have enough to make it back home, but that's okay. She has enough to get there. All right. So that's how we graph from a table to write an equation. And now in the next video, we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to write it from just a table. Okay. So I'll see you there. That'll be 5.2b. And don't forget, I'm on Twitter. If you want to request any of these whiteboards or my help in any way. Okay. I can put a picture of one of these whiteboards up there. I'll see you next video. Bye.